Three of the most bizarre anxiety symptoms, part three. Number one was blood pressure changes and heart rate changes. Essentially, my blood pressure and my heart rate went up. In fact, when I was laying down, my heart rate was at 180. It made no sense. It literally felt like I was running a marathon, but I was just sitting still. And my mind just could not comprehend it. I didn't know what was happening. I literally thought I had a heart issue. Now, when I fell into the cycle, I was 22 years old. Now, 22-year-old, pretty active, healthy kid. <laughs> fearful of a heart attack. It's kind of nuts. But the truth is, is that I really felt like there was something wrong with my heart. Not only that, my blood pressure was through the roof. So not only was my heart rate up, but my blood pressure was up. And so I just thought I had a major crisis and that I needed to get it resolved right away. Once I went to the doctor, they're like, no, everything's fine. Yeah, your blood pressure's up, but it's stable. And I was like, but I mean, is there anyone concerned about this? They're like, ah, no, you're just nervous. And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, there's something seriously wrong. Now, what I didn't understand was anxiety can create that. Anxiety can create very physical symptoms. It's not just something in your head. It can create very physical symptoms. And the thing is, is that it's thinking there's a threat even though there's not. And so what happens is, is that your body creates extra stress hormones, adrenaline, noradrenaline, um, epinephrine, of course, and like uh, cortisol, all these different hormones as a way to protect you from a threat. And so one of the organs that's most sensitive to that is the heart. Right? Have you ever seen those movies where somebody stabs um, somebody with epinephrine uh, in the heart or adrenaline and then the heart starts beating? Well, that's exactly what's happening when people are going through anxiety. So focus on the anxiety and all of that ends up going away. Number two was tinnitus, right? So I would start hearing high pitched sounds and I was like, oh my God, why is this happening? It was so loud that I feel like I couldn't sleep. And I was just so hyper aware of it that I was like, oh my God, how is this gonna go away? And I remember I tried to do anything and everything to make it go away. I remember I did some auditory tests. I also had some, a lot of visual changes. Like I felt like I was seeing a lot of visual snow. And so the idea was is that, well, when you're struggling with anxiety, your sense organs become very heightened. So like the ears, the eyes, you even notice maybe the smell. And so this is again, as a survival mechanism, it wants to detect any sort of predatory you know, threat. And so the tinnitus, again, was still a response to the anxiety, even though it was so easy to think it was an organ issue, like my ears and my eyes, it really wasn't. It was just all part of anxiety. And then the final one was derealization or depersonalization. I experienced them both. Derealization feels like nothing is real and depersonalization feels like it's out of body. I used to feel like there was a glass panel between me and the outside world. And this would only happen after a panic attack. And essentially it was just a trauma response based on the panic attacks. Once I focused on that, all of this ended up going away.